Guck mal rein. The hotel industry is a wild experience that helps you understand how disconnected the wildly wealthy are. I've seen the darker side of humanity, suicides, murder. Wow, die Maske ist gruselig. There's spousal abuse, human trafficking. That shit stays with you for a long time. One weekend, a large group of around 60-ish people, they wanted to purchase out the entire hotel so they could just turn it into a giant orgy. Uh, the cost about the property was upwards of $250,000 for two nights at a time. That says you've got money to spend. They left a nightmare room. Blood, feces, semen stains. One of my bellboys What the fuck? came up and was like, I've got a black light, I'm curious. He turned it on and I remember we like, we looked down and saw all the stains, we looked to the sides and saw them on the wall. At one point in the bathroom, we looked up and saw them all on the ceiling and... Was sind stains, chat, sperma? We were just like, how, how do you do this? This is not human. Were you on the ceiling? Flecken. Ah. Also nochmal, da waren Leute, die haben ein ganzes Hotel gemietet, so wie ich das verstanden habe, und haben da eine riesen Orgie gefeiert. Und dann sind die mit Schwarzlicht rein und da waren dann an der Decke Flecken. Okay. Informer. I worked as an operations manager for around 10 plus years. I've worked in hotels where the average daily rate is anywhere from like $99 and then all the way up to boutique properties where the average cost is around $1,400 per night. In general, the higher up the price value, the more common it is to be treated like you're less than human. The people who are coming to visit you, famous pop stars and Russian oligarchs, they have a private plane that they get in a private vehicle with all tinted black out windows. Sometimes they have security squads, so they'll snap their fingers at them. Very large sense of entitlement where if they approach the desk. Wie findet ihr das Video bis jetzt von 1 bis 10? Ist halt Englisch, ne? They are the only thing that exists to you in that moment. And that's what they came to expect from that level of entering a, a luxury hotel. Mm -hmm. Most people who visit boutique hotels are not coming for business. They're there for pleasure. There was a group of fabulously wealthy individuals. You can definitely get a sense of how much wealth they actually have when they're talking about things like buying a fleet of Boeing in the lobby casually. They have about geredet, a fleet of uh, Boeing to kaufen. They would buy out this entire property. They were spending as much as a luxury wedding. And uh, it was basically a giant swingers orgy. We'd have people having sex in the pool, people laying on our wine bars naked, a couple having sex on a balcony in plain view. So you're looking Thank up you. at it, quite an angle. And every single room would have a different theme and a safe word posted outside of the door. The one that stands out to me was there's a mermaid theme. But where does he know chat? Was he there or what? He is still the hotel manager. Warum weiß er, wo die da Sex hatten? War der dabei? Room. It was actually kind of impressive, the details they went, so it was very like under the sea vibe. There was the Wild West room, there was the straight up BDSM room. One couple weeks. Okay, Chat, this video is irgendwie auch komisch, Digga. Das ist irgendwie auch ein komisches Video, Chat. Also, ich, ich glaub, äh, ich bin mir ziemlich sicher, sowas gibt safe, Chat. Es gibt safe. Irgendwelche kranken Sexpartys von extrem reichen Leuten, 100%, 100% gibt's das Chat. Safe, safe. Das ist ja auch kein Geheimnis, Digga. Da hört man doch auch mal äh, davon, oder? Von sowas. Das gibt's safe. Das wird safe geben. Vor allem bei den Leuten, die sehr, 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 sehr viel Geld haben, Digga. Da gibt's wahrscheinlich ganz kranke Scheiße, die da, die da abgeht. Sowas wie Jeffrey Epstein und so. Ja, ja, safe. Habt ihr die Doku gesehen auf Netflix, Chat? Äh, Jeffrey Epstein? Geisteskranke Doku, Digga. Ja, sowas gibt's safe, 100%. Influencer eben. Ja, bestimmt, Chat. Es gibt bestimmt auch Sexorgien bei Influencern, Digga. 100%. Rüdiger Rüssel, danke für den Fünfer. Hallöchen, mein Süßer. Wollen wir auch mal eine Party schmeißen im Hotel? Nein, äh, wollen wir nicht, Digga. Also ich will das nicht. Äh, nein, danke. Morgen, Johannes, deine. Ich mach keine Sexpartys, Chat. Habe ich auch noch nie gemacht.